In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome mong muli dito sa Manawag. To prepare ourselves to offer this holy sacrifice to the Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in a failing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that now at last you revived your concern for me. You were, of course, concerned about me, but lack an opportunity. Not, not that I say this because of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I find myself to be self-efficient. I know indeed how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I have the strength for everything through Him who empowers me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. You Philippians, indeed, know that at the beginning of the Gospel, when I left Macedonia, not a single church shared with me in an account of giving and receiving except you alone. For even when I was at Thessalonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I am eager for the gift, rather, I am eager for the profit that accrues to your account. I have received full payment and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I receive from you through Epaphroditus, a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The bright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice, he shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Bless the man who fears the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. 
His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Please stand. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to, to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with an dishonest world, so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is uh, trustworthy is very in uh, sorry for nalimutan <laughs> salami. The person who is trustworthy in small, very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest is very in his very small matters will also be dishonest in great ones. If therefore you are not trustworthy with this honest world, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either, he will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. The Pharisees who loved money heard all these things and sneered at him. And he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your heart, for what is human, what human esteem is an abomination to the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Muli po tayong pinalaalalahanan ng Gospel natin ngayon. Dalong bagay lang naman. Unang-una, alam na alam natin to. Memory na tayo. Mas malaga ang Diyos kaysa pera. No? Huwag tayong... Uh, sabi nga, slave or matukso sa pera, sapagat ang pera ay para sa tao at hindi ang tao para sa Diyos o para sa atin. Ang pangalawa, ito pang mas importante, eh, hindi naman mas importante, gusto kong bigyan ng diin, yung honesty is the best policy. Na, nabasa ko ito minsan doon sa news, sa uh, merong isang eskwilahan Napakalaking school, nakasulat doon, honesty is the best policy. Naalala ko tuloy nung high school tayo, di ba, kapag nagtanong, anong moto mo, wala kang mahisip na iba, kundi honesty is the best policy. Totoo po naman, huwag na natin tanungin kung bakit kung honest ka, eh, kapakipakinabang ka, trustworthy ka. Ibig sabihin, at home, not home, yung naniniwala sa iyo na honest ikaw. Nagtitiwala ng husto. Di ba? Iwan ko lang, kung hindi tayo nagtitiwala sa isang tao, gaya, for example ito, marami sa yung taga Manila, kung saan-saan ang galing, at hindi kayo naniniwala yung iwan yung bahay nyo sa ibang tao, ilalak nyo ng husto. <laughs> hindi. Meron pa rin na iwan doon na pinagkakatiwalaan mo, pangangalagaan sapagat wala kayo, no? Kaya nga itong sa gospel, napaganda. Totoo-totoo, no? Kung sa maliit ng bagay, wala tayong pagtitiwalaan, how much more on bigger things? Ganun lang na, elementary explanation yun. 
self-explanatory. Pero ang tanong yung sa ating sarili. Di ba? Masarap ang pakiramdam kapag ikaw ay pinagkakatiwalaan. At napakasakit sa loob kapag ikaw pinagbintangan. Eh, kung napagbintangan na kayo, ang tendency natin, ano, wala na akong ginawa. Bakit? Marami kayo tatanong. Para bang guilty ka na? Pero kung hindi ka naman guilty, thanks be to God. Bahala ng Diyos sa iyo. Gaya ng sinabi ni Kristo sa Badang Husi, last part of the Gospel. Kung kaya natin itago sa ating kapwa, kailanman ay hindi natin may tatago ang katotohanan sa mata ng Diyos. Kaya nakakalimutan natin, there, there is always an invisible eye looking in every action that we do. No? Yung tao, tao, madaling lalangin yan, malaking lokohin. Kaya kung isa, napagbibintangan tayo o nagbibintang tayo, na, hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng tiwala. Kaya napaka-importante yun, magtiwala po tayo. Gaya ng, for example, naalala ko yung, ano pa kami no, seminarista, no? Hindi nagsasalita yung isang seminarista. Sabi namin, bakit? Anong problema mo? Lalabas ka na ba? Nag-iisip ka mag-asawa kung ano? Basta hindi niya binubuka yung bunganga niya. <laughs> so, sabi namin, siguradong sigurado ako eh, may bad breath ka. Yung pala hindi lang bad breath, bulok na yung ipin, takot siya din tista. Hindi siya nagtitiwala na dahil sa takot, walang tiwala na gagaling yung ngipin niya. So, simple yung bagay, no? Even I, I myself, natitignan ko sa mga bali-balita, sa news na kibabasa natin, bakit sa karamihan ng tao, yung nakakapulot ng napakalaking halaga sa airport, sa taxi, sa tricycle, sa daan, puro mahihirap. Sila nakakaunawa nung halaga, nung napulot nila. Bakit di katulad ni Iman, napakayaman, okay lang yun, mawala na kung ilang tao, ilang milyon, okay lang, babalik rin yan. Ganun mga ano natin, para bang wala na tayong delikadesa sa ating sarili. Sapagat na sana ito siya malaki, so what? Dabalik din yan. Ngunit yung nakakahanga-hanga, kita nyo na, isang janitor, nakapulot ng bag sa airport, na binuksan niya, oy, pagkakataon na sana. And yet, naisip niya, pinaghirapan ng tao ito. Kung alam niyo yung wallet, galing sa OFW. Kung alam niyo yung napulot doon sa taxi, pambayad para sa ospital ng isang may sakit. At hirapan siyang hanap, maghanap kung saan kukuha ng ipakapalit doon. Siguro kung may kaya tayo, okay lang. Pero silang unang nakakaintindi. Yun ang mahirap. Yun ang turuan natin ating sarili. Hindi po Ayon sa ating katayuan sa lipunan, kaya tayo waldas, kaya tayo matipid. At all times, kung ano talaga ang nararapat, pagkakatiwalaan, at yung trust na sinasabi natin ay napakalagang parte ng ating buhay. Kahit ang paisipin natin na nag-iisa lang tayo, kahit imposible naman yun na we're living alone. And yet, no? Eh, sayo man natin si gusto para may naririnig tayo, meron tayong nararamdaman kung ano-ano na parang walang tiwala, hindi tayo titiwala. Yun, paano gagamutin yun? Yun ang mahirap. Kaya yun ang laging paalala sa atin ng Panginoon. Kaya mong guloyin ka para kang maaliwala sa iyong ginagawa. Always be honest. Wala, walang mawawala sa iyo. Kung pintasan ka man, okay lang. Kung uh, paratangan ka, okay na lang, gano'n na lang. Ano bang magagawa natin? Wala ko. Sabi na, kailangan pa bang you, tra- prove, you prove it kung talagang gano'n tingin mo sa akin? Well, hindi, no? Meron kahit ang paano. Eh, mo, tao naman tayo, may pakiramdam. Alam natin na nangyayari. Especially, kapag mayroon tayo mga experiences in the past na malamang na the same situation, o ang nasa harap natin, hihalam na natin, no? Di ba na? Minsan nga ako. Totoo yun. Minsan may mga, marami akong nakilala, lalo na mga nasa mission kami, no? Nahirapan, bakit? Ba't hindi nyo nadalhin sa doktor? May sakit nyo na. Nahihirapan na yung tao. 
Siyempre, anong sagot nila? Wala po kami yung pera. Wala kayong pambayad. Hindi po gano'n <laughs> ang, ang trabaho ng hospital at ng doktor. Maghintay lang ng pera nyo. Di ba? Hindi wala tanlo. Hindi. Palalahanan nyo yung doktor. Nasa profesyon kayong ganyan. Hindi dahil sa pera. Hindi para hindi nyo mabawi yung ginastos nyo. Kundi, paglilin ko, di ba yan ang number one na duty ng doktor? Pagalingin na may sakit. Kaya kung wala kang bayan, alam nyo, marami ako na ay, eh, sitwasyon natin, wala tayo may sakit, layo lang kong diabetes, maya-maya, takbo tayo sa doktor, no? Kumisan, ayaw ko, hindi dahil na pare, father, libre na yung consultation, libre. <laughs> Kumisan, nakaya. Ngunit, ngayon nga nang siya mga sasabi ko, huwag kayo matakot kung wala kayong mabayan. Kasi meron ako naalala ng isang nanay na nilagay niya talaga yung wallet niya sa bag. Sumakay siya ng jeep. Pumunta sa ospital para lumabas yung, ilabas na yung anak niya, mag, magbabayan na siya. But, pag na sa ospital, wala yung wallet. So, nag-aalangan siyang pumunta sa doktor. Pagkapatulaan naman siya ibabayad. Sabi ko, hindi. Sabihin mo nang totoo sa doktor, makakaintindi yun. Hindi. <laughs> Sabagat gano'n nangyayari sa iyo mo na siyang gusto, tanggapin po natin. Meron pong mga taong gano'n. Patay na ngayon tao, ayaw, ayaw pang ilabas sa hospital. Lalo nagihirap yung, hindi parang walang pakialam, walang pakiramay. Kaya yun ang laging hinahalong ka sa atin. Magkaroon naman tayong kunting-kunting si konsyensya. Sasabihin sa atin ng doktor, okay na po yun. Kumisa nga, wala na po para ma, 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 maging maliwalas yung pakiramdam nyo. Anyway, Basta ibang pasyente, sa kanina, sa ibang pasyente ko lang babawiin, hindi. Nakakabawi naman talaga. Sa pagkat ang taong mabuting magbigay, siguradong more blessings will come to him. Huwag tayong madamot. Yun ang pag-isipan nyo, no? Kapag madamot tayo, madamot rin ang Diyos. Madamot ang mga pagkakataon na tayo maging maliwanas sa kagustuhan natin. Ngunit kung tayo mapagbigay, ano more, yun. Kaya-ayang hindi nagawa at siguradong kapakipakinabang ka, hindi lamang sa mata ng tao, lalong-lalo na sa mata ng Diyos. Magsitayo pa tayo. My brothers and sisters, God entrusts us with gifts to be used for His glory and the good of other people. We pray that we may become responsible for all those, for all those, and be worthy of His trust. After this petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that as a church, we may be committed in our ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that government officials may be responsible and honest in the use of government resources. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may overcome avarice by daily acts of generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor and the sick may find support from concerned and kind-hearted citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may receive the eternal riches of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of these months. Heavenly Father, help us that we may, not be, we may not be careful away by the lure of money, but seek the real wealth of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine we work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in exaltation of all the saints, and especially as you celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. <clears throat> For truly, even in earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of pain. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, and all the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graces you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amen at isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan ko ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption, we ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Ito po, hindi lamang para sa atin na nandito sa simbahan na humihiling sa mahal na birhen, sa pambangitan ng mahal na birhen, sa anumang sakit. Idamay na po rin natin yung na, nasa bahay, yung mga kakilala natin na hirap. Nakakarating po yan sa kalina, unawala kayo. Napakabait po no, ng Diyos. Pinapakinggan ang pakikiramay natin sa kanila, lalo na po yung mga senior citizen. No? Ingat lang po sa pag -uwi. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Banawag. So that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles 
if you have them with you, just bring them out. Huwag na po kayong aalis sa yung pwesto, lalapit na lang po yung mga ministers. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other release articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.